Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Somos Biology, another quick revision video, another mnemonic video for all of you. And in this mnemonic video, we are going to give you uh, a very simple two different sentence with which you can remember the name of important cytoskeleton elements in the cell and what are the proteins that they are involved with. Uh, and this is something that you need to remember because people get confused between all the names confused between uh, microfilaments, microtubules and intermediate filaments and you also need to know the microfilaments are something known as actin filaments. So let's look at this particular video to get it understood under 3 to 5 minutes time frame we'll explain everything and there are two different images that you need to print in your head one is this coca-cola bottle another one is the diner or a dining experience. So aim at coca-cola tube that is the very first sentence aim at coca-cola tube and the second one is keep dining. These are the two sentences that you need to use. Aim at Coca-Cola tube and keep dining. So keep dining with the Coca-Cola tube. So you get the Coca-Cola bottle and keep dining. That is what you need to remember in your head in order to understand what we are going to say next. Okay. So remember that aim A for here is actin filaments. Okay. Actin filament. And another A is there. This A stands for ATP. So the actin filaments are associated with ATP. ATP actins are uh, the active subunits of actin and ADP actins are inactive subunits of actin. Next what we have is Coca-Cola. C. C for collagen. C for collagen which is a part of intermediate intermediate filament. Okay. So actin is the thinnest intermediate is intermediate in size and then there is T. T for tubulin right that is a part of microtubule microtubule structure right so tubulins are units of microtubules because they are going to form uh, the microtubule so more and more tubulins joined together are going to form microtubule uh, microtubule structures so tubulin for microtubule actin for actin filaments or microfilaments also require atp and as you know actin requires atp so tubulin requires GTP. You don't need to put it into the sentence but we know if actin requires ATP then tubulin requires GTP. And collagen is an intermediate filament so that part is done. So these are all stator elements. These are all fixed or stable elements. They don't change. They don't move. They are not migratory elements. Next statement is keep dining. This is where we get K and D. So we have keep K for kinesin which is a motor protein and capital D for dynein that is another motor protein right kinesin and dynein what else we are going to get from here is that the kinesin keep k and there is a p p for positive and dynein obviously if kinesin is positive then dynein should be negative okay so what we mean by this kinesin and dynein both are motor proteins motor elements of the cytoskeleton and this actin uh, intermediate filament and microtubules are stator elements of the cytoskeleton okay so the motor elements of the cytoskeleton that is kinesin and dynein kinesin is with positive so kinesin migrate towards positive end of the microtubule and dynein migrates towards negative end of the microtubule that is what is mentioned in here so but in these very two very small sentences so much information is hidden aim at coca-cola tube keep dining from these two sentence we can establish the actin is with ATP collagen is a kind of intermediate filament microtubule is made with tubulin and if actin is with ATP tubulin requires GTP to be activated and we have keep dining so K kinesin moves towards positive end of microtubule D dining moves towards negative end of the microtubule so this is how easy we can make learning right with the help of the mnemonics and this quick revision videos. So I believe you got help. I believe this video helps you out understanding uh, the list, uh, understanding uh, this concept and remembering and revising the topic very fast just before the exam. These videos are going to be lifesaver just right before the exam. Revise with the help of this video and series of videos. Watch them in this channel and if you like the video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues subscribe to this channel to get more videos like that in future thank you